Hello everyone, welcome to Data Engineer YouTube channel. In this video, we will see SQL endpoints in Microsoft Fabric. So let's get started. Uh, before going to this video, if you are new to my channel, you can watch the entire playlist for Fabric. So I'm starting from scratch, like from creating a subscription, free subscription in Fabric. And then I'll continue, you know, over the time. So here it is. So you can see already four videos are uploaded and you'll see continuous videos in this particular playlist. All right, so let's come back and let's discuss about SQL endpoints in Fabric. So for that, I will go to my workspace. I have already created a workspace named dev and it's blank as of now. I will create a new uh, storage account, a lake house. So I will go to more options. I will click on lake house, my new lake house dev and I will click on create. If you have already created a lake house earlier, you can skip this step and you know, you can continue from afterwards. So now once the lake house is created, we have these two things, two folders, one is table and one is file. So ideally what we can do in, is in files, we can upload any file and then we can convert if it is a form of table, we can convert it into tables. Let's do that. So I will upload a file. So I will click on upload button. I will go to my downloads and I will click on the CSV file and I will press the upload button. Once this is done, so you can cross this and once you click on files, this file will be available. Here. So now let me show you this file. So this file contains COVID related data, which is having a UID, country name, the cases in that particular country, that's and recovered. So this is the sample data which I am using as of now. Now that data is loaded in files, but now we can't query it. For to query this particular data, we need to convert it in, into a table, right? So what we will do is, as this is a CSV file, so you can click on these three dots, load to table and new table. And you can just give it a proper name. I'm giving it COVID data by country. I'm saying use header for column names because my data set have header and then the separator is comma because it's a CSV, right? I will click on load. Now your question is if it is a parquet file and then some other types of file, can we do with the similar method? No, you can't do it with the similar method, but you can definitely use PySpark for that and I will cover that in the upcoming video. So don't worry. Now the data is loaded in the tables. So you can just click on this particular table. Now it's a table and you can, you know, have a preview of the data. So it will take some time and you will be able to see your data in the preview mode because, uh, you know, I have very less number of rows. It is showing me all the rows, you know, otherwise it will show you the sample data in case your data set is very large. Now, uh, this is what we have as of now, but what, let's say I want to perform some ETL operation on top of this data, or I want to, you know, get some insights from it. So what I can do is I can use SQL endpoint. So this is where SQL endpoint comes into picture. So how to use that at the top right corner, we have lake house. You can click on click here and you will see something called SQL analytics endpoint. You need to click here. Once you click on SQL analytics endpoint, you will see, you know, uh, something like this, wherein on the left hand side, just like, you know, you have a database and then, you know, in database, you have table, view, function, stored procedures, everything is available here. And definitely you can use this table to create a stored procedure. You can create view on top of it and so on. Right. And whatever queries you are writing, you can even store it in my queries or shared queries. In my queries, it's just like you can see those queries and in shared queries. So these are the queries which you can share with your, you know, peers or, you know, whoever is working with you. Now, what we can do is we can click on new SQL query. So once you click on new SQL query, you will see this, uh, you know, workspace where you can write a query. So I'm just writing a very basic query, which is a select statement, select top 10 star from the table name. So this is under DBO schema. So DBO dot table name, the table name is COVID data by 
country so once we do that we can just click on run button and once we press the run button you can see the data here right you can even open this particular output in excel and so on so these are the different methods you have and then yeah uh, you know let's say you want to perform some operation definitely you can perform uh, operation and you can save your query right now even you can create derived table on top of this table so that is also possible even you can create stored procedure for example let's say i just want to you know uh, write this statement this let's start query and i want to you know create a stored procedure so i can simply write create procedure and procedure name i'm giving the procedure name to be select all s and then i can write begin and then the you know statement and at the end i can write end right so this is my sample stored procedure very basic you know just like in sql you create the things you can definitely you know query your data here in a similar manner and then you can just you know press the run button see once you press the run button commands completed successfully and if you rerun you will get a error there is already an object name selector just like sql right now you want to uh, you know run this stored procedure so what you can use is you can simply write execute procedure name right and you can press the run button once you press the run button you will see the output right because in the stored procedure you just have a select star statement so you can see that output right so you can use anything in stored procedure you can see now select all object is visible and now moreover see i can write like this also select country from dbo dot uh, covid data by country and see these are the two different statements just like in ssms if you have used you can just select a statement and press the run button so you know line number three will only get executed so starting running query at line three so it gave me an error let me just check the error invalid column name country so let me just execute this procedure and see what's the column name and then i can run this right so it's country name so let me just you know correct it current country name and i can run this all right so this is how sql endpoints work now there is one more thing you can even create measures on top of it okay so now you have this table now this is that final table you can have derived tables you know you can just perform some etl operations there and you can some create some derived tables here itself and now on top of it you need to create some measure let's assume as of now it's disabled you need to click on manage default power bi semantic model to create a measure so once you click on this what it will do is whatever tables you have in your data lake or you can say lake house so what it will do is it will show you all i only have one table so i am only able to see one table so i'll click on that and i'll click on confirm and whatever tables you have selected it will create a semantic model on top of it and that semantic model can be used on on top of it you can create a report as well so once i do that this option is enabled and now i can even create a measure okay so you can just write my measure and i'll just say yeah, you know country name calculate country let's say count of i just want count of recovered okay that's it or i just need to i need not to write calculate even i can simply write count of the you know covid data by country recovered and the name is my measure right so this is how you can create measure you can press tick button and your measure will be created right so this is so simple uh, and now on top of that you can definitely create reports which we will see in the upcoming videos i hope uh, you like this video like how sql endpoints work 
सो इफ यू आर यू नो इफ यू नो सीक्वल ऑलरेडी डेफिनेटली जस्ट बाई दिस वीडियो यू कैन गेट एन क्विक आइडिया ऑफ हाउ सीक्वल एंड पॉइंट वर्क एंड अदरवाइज यू कैन डेफिनेटली लर्न सीक्वल एंड देन यू कैन कम है एंड यू नो यू विल गेट इट आउट और थैंक यू एंड वी विल सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो